हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स जुलाई 2024 सॉल्यूशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द ग्रीन फंक्शन एंड द आईडी ऑफ दिस पेपर इज क्वेश्चन इज 704093 इट इज रिलेटेड टू द पार्ट सी सो दैट मींस यू कैन गेट द 7 4.75 मार्क्स वेरी इजी मैनर इफ यू नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ग्रीन फंक्शन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर you can subscribe my youtube channel where you can find the playlist of csr ugc net and you can find the various lecture related to the solution of the july 2024 such as numerical analysis linear programming problem initial value problem real linear and complex all i have uploaded with the help of the shortcut tricks now in this lecture we will see how you can solve the green function related problem and you can see this is the part c so you can get a 4.75 marks a very very simple manner how you can solve this problem in the examinations again i will tell you in this lecture so you must watch it deeply instead of directly i said say uh, which one of the following is the right answer let me quickly recall you what is a green function a function g which is defined like f1 and f2 of this manner subjective to some boundary condition the most important thing student you have to keep remember the domain should be from 0 to t that is x is inside so firstly you can check whether this condition satisfied it is not satisfied fine so what you can do you can replace xi and x fine or you can say i can replace xi with the t so that means the definition will be related to the x comma t fine so that is means if i write for you as x comma t how you can do that i can change xi to be the x and x xi to be the t so this first part it is my e raised to power 3 into t plus b into e raised to power 2 into t fine into c times in the examination there is no need to write it because you can uh, think in your mind that this is the function of the x and this are the in terms of the t fine and these are my x all are i x and this all are my t so i i again i didn't write it for you fine i can simply change this function as 0 is less than equal to x is less than equal to t and this is t is less than equal to x is less than of l and then in this case you can see this is the l and in my problem l is my l and 2 then my first target is my first target is g must be continuous at x is equal to t that is my function is g what does it means that means the function value at x is equal to t is same as f2 at x is equal to t second is g capital g must satisfied my boundary condition that means g at the point a comma t is equal to alpha 1 g at the point of b comma t is my alpha 2 and second last one is the partial derivative of g with respect to x has a discontinuous function and that discontinuous function is equal to minus 1 over coefficient of the highest derivative term in this case what is the highest derivative term you can see my term is given to be this if you take the derivative the highest derivative will be my y double dash so that means in this case this value will be my Minus one over e raised to power five x. Fine. Now let's start with this. Uh, firstly, I can apply this condition. What is the meaning of that? That means now g of initial condition is my zero, comma t is my zero, and g of ln two comma t is my zero. Fine. Now I can apply it because x is my zero. Remember, this is my this is my x so i can apply this this is my c plus d into this exponential part e raised to power 3 into t plus b into e raised to power 2t is equal to 0 now clearly say that this value can never be 0 what will happen c plus d will be my 0 fine now look at the option c plus d is non zero c plus d is my non zero C plus d is zero. C plus d is zero. Now I can apply this again. This is my ln two. Ln two lies in this case. Fine. So I can apply this function. X is my. This is my x. 
सो वट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द थ्री ई रेस टू पावर एल एन टू दैट इज माई एट प्लस फोर टाइम्स बी इन टू एक्सपोनेशियल पार्ट अगेन दिस एक्सपोनेशियल पार्ट कैन नेवर बी जीरो सो देर फोर बी विल बी माई माइनस टू सो इफ बी विल बी माइनस टू अगेन द थर्ड एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन ऑलरेडी कैंसल सो दैट इज नाउ दीज टू प्रॉपर्टीज सी प्लस डी जीरो बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू बोथ आर सेटिस्फाइड फाइन नाउ दैट इज अप टू द फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेट जी इज कंटिन्यूस एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टी सो नाउ आई कैन अप्लाई जी इज कंटिन्यूस एट एक्स इज टू टी दैट मीन्स आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट एक्स एंड टी आर सेम दैट मीन्स बोथ आर इक्वल इट मीन्स दे बोथ आर इक्वल आई कैन इक्वेट द कॉफिशियंट वंस यू मल्टीप्लाई इट्स ए ई रेस्ट पावर फाइव एक्स फाइन सो इफ इज फाइव एक्स सो इट विल बी द कॉफिशियंट इज सी एनी अदर टर्म दिस इज ऑल्सो फाइव दिस इज बी डी विच इज इक्वल टू कॉफिशियंट ऑफ फाइव इज सी and coefficient of 5 is bd is that that's a correct statement another is it is e raised to power 4 so e raised to power 4 is bc e raised to power 4 from the below side is also bc so from here you can't satisfied any property now look at the third property last property partial derivative of x when x approaches t positive when x approaches t positive that means we are at this point so can you find the derivative with respect to x this is my x remember i will clear it this is my x this is my x so if you take the derivative it will be my 3 e raised to power 3x plus twice of the b e raised to power 2x and this value is c because at the point t and we have to substitute x equal to t so this plus d e raised to power Minus at x equal to t minus so t negative is this case. Now this is my x portion. You have to derivative this with respect to x. Two c e raised to power two x. Just plus thrice of e raised to power three x into the component of the t e raised to power x plus b e raised to power two x. Which is equal to minus one over largest coefficient, highest degree coefficient of. So that will it will be my e raised to power five x. Now I can equate the coefficient on the both side. If I equate the coefficient of the five x, this will be my three into c. This will be two b d. Fine. This will be my minus two c, and this will be my minus three b d. Which is equal to minus one. That will be C minus B D is equal to minus one. Now you can check about the option. If first option is satisfied, minus B into D is it minus one? No, it is not equal to minus one. It is a plus one. So that means the first option is cancelled. We will see whether second option satisfied. C is equal to one. B is equal to minus of two. D is equal to minus one. Is it satisfied? One minus two is equal to minus one. Satisfied. So the right answer of problem is my B is the correct answer. And you can see that. Remember, student, the green function definition is my this one. G must be continuous at the breaking point. Partial derivative is discontinued at the breaking point, and G satisfied my initial boundary condition. The most important thing is you have to see the x must be written inside it. So since in this problem. X is not written inside it, so I can interchange x to be the t or x to be the x i. So this is the way you can solve this green function related problems in a very simple manner. For more detail about such kind of the problems, you must watch about my this play playlist, and you can watch each lecture very deeply. You will increase your confidence, and you will see how you can tackle the problem in a very simple manner. i hope you can like share and comment on this video and let me know in the answer comment box whether you are able to get the answer b in the examination or not happy learning students don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel best of luck